Hi, everyone, and welcome to AWS Innovate. In this session, we will discuss how we are collaborating with our ISV partners to simplify ML model integrations and how we are ensuring that the ML models that one builds in SageMaker are used by the business users right from their favorite tools. I'm Kosti Vasilakakis, and I lead the go-to-market strategy of SageMaker as it pertains to all integrations and partnerships. And today I'm joined by Madeleine Corneli, who is a product manager at Tableau, focusing on Tableau's technology partners. In our chat today, we're looking to cover the rationale behind our partnership, or in short, what was the impetus and why we see value here. We'll quickly level set for those potentially not familiar with our tools, on what Tableau, what SageMaker is, and what are the key benefits that we provide. And for the most part, we will focus on the Tableau and SageMaker integration from how it works all the way to a live demo. Lastly, we will close it off with some ideas on which use cases can be great fit for the integration and what are some of the future efforts we're really looking forward to. Now you might be asking, why did we actually partner? And the answer in my opinion is, is very, very simple. We want to democratize machine learning access all business intelligence users. Businesses aim to become more and more data-driven, and they really rely heavily on visual analytics and business intelligence tools like Tableau. Tableau, in fact, is consistently among the analytics and BI uh, leaders as defined by Gartner. And Gartner also states that um, though uh, the, the organizations that manage to achieve mature forms of analytics, like predictive analytics, for example, gain the competitive advantage of having foresight into their business. And that's actually the ultimate state businesses should reach. Be able to predict accurately what their near and long-term future will look like. Obviously, uh, such endeavor is, is not easy, but machine learning has been has the predictive power to help achieve such foresight. We currently see bigger compute capacity for a lower price, radical innovations in outdoor space, especially around the auto ML tools that make creating machine learning models easy for literally everyone. And as such, coming to my first point, we understand the impact ML can have and we want to democratize it. We want to make it accessible to everyone right within their BI tool. Madeleine, before we dive deeper on how we actually do that, do you mind helping us level set on what Tableau is and which are the key benefits you provide to your customers? Definitely. Thank you, Kosti. Now, whenever I talk about Tableau, I always start with our mission statement. Tableau helps people see and understand data. As the market leading choice for modern business intelligence, our Tableau analytics platform makes it easier for people to explore and manage data and faster to discover and share insights that can change businesses and the world. Everything we do at Tableau is driven by this mission to help people see and understand data which is why our products are designed to put the user first, whether they're an analyst, a data scientist, a student, a teacher, an executive, or a business user. From connection through collaboration, Tableau is the most powerful, secure, and flexible end-to-end -end analytics platform. Now, the Tableau experience is all centered around this intuitive drag-and-drop based analytics. It's designed to be easy to learn and to use while also offering deep analytic capabilities that enable the most complex business intelligence exploration. Tableau connects directly to your data, wherever it is, and allows you to start analyzing right away. As you move data fields around the view, create visualizations, and eventually build out complete production dashboards, Tableau is translating all of these motions into SQL-like queries. This is our patented VizQL technology which visually expresses data by translating drag and drop actions into data queries through an intuitive interface. Tableau turns every user into a fully fledged business analyst without requiring any coding knowledge. And that is the secret sauce that makes Tableau so valuable. It empowers every user with unique and flexible tools to help answer their critical business questions. Since Tableau was founded in 2003, we have consistently worked to build the most comprehensive business intelligence platform. 
We want to make it easy, not only for users to create impactful visualizations, but allow them to scale those creations across their organizations. This means providing powerful analytics and dashboard creation tools in the form of Tableau Desktop and on the web with Tableau Web Authoring. Our Tableau Prep tool helps you wrangle and clean your data to ensure it is both accurate and trustworthy. And Tableau and Online and Tableau Server are our collaboration platforms, available as both a SaaS solution or self-deployed. From here, you can scale out your analytics across your organization while ensuring the security of your data. Tableau is also continuously invested in research and development at an unrivaled pace, developing solutions to help anyone working with data get answers faster and uncover unanticipated insights. This includes making machine learning, statistics, natural language, and smart data prep more useful to augment human, human creativity and analysis. We consistently engage with our community and our partners to find new ways to enhance the power of Tableau for our users. So that's a little bit about Tableau. Kosti, maybe you could share with us some of SageMaker's capabilities and benefits. Thank you, Madeline. So Amazon SageMaker is actually the most complete end-to-end -end service for machine learning. It is a managed service for data scientists, citizen data scientists, data engineers, and ML operations teams that helps remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting associated with machine learning. First off, SageMaker provides users with an integrated workbench of tools brought together in one place through SageMaker Studio. Users can launch, for example, Jupyter Notebooks and Jupyter Lab environments instantly through SageMaker Studio. And from the same pane of glass, our users get access to a complete set of features around data preparation, model development, training and tuning, experiment management, debugging, deployments, and pipeline automation to help make data engineers, data scientists, and MLOps teams more productive. Secondly, SageMaker offers an AutoML capability called Autopilot. Now, why people love Autopilot? It's because it automatically builds, trains, and tunes the best machine learning models based on your data, while allowing you to maintain full control and visibility. Building machine learning, machine learning models requires you to manually prepare features, test multiple, multiple algorithms, and optimize hundreds of model parameters in order to find the best feature engineering pipeline and model for your data. However, this approach requires deep machine learning expertise, and that's where the work, work points I discussed before fits right in. If you don't have that expertise though, you could use an automated approach like AutoML, and that's where the SageMaker Autopilot fits right in. It eliminates the heavy lifting of building ML models by providing such AutoML capabilities, allowing pretty much everyone out there to build ML models with just a click. And we'll see how that works in just a second. In the interim, I have a question for you, Madeline. Madeline, as I understand, Tableau has powerful analytics capabilities, and SageMaker has all kinds of ways to create ML easily for a variety of personas. But what is it, does it really mean to bring those two tools together via an integration? Well, Kosti, it means a lot. It's pretty exciting. We know now that both Tableau and SageMaker offer users powerful ways to get value from data. So just think about what they can do when we bring them together. We wanted to focus on this idea of empowering users, giving them access to tools that expand their capabilities without requiring extensive training or time investment. That is the idea at the heart of both Tableau and SageMaker. By combining these two platforms, we can enable more people to create machine learning models and also allow more people to consume the results of those models. The theme here is self-service. SageMaker AutoML gives business users the ability to build their own models instead of relying solely on data scientists. That's self-service. Then, using the extensibility of Tableau and the SageMaker platform, we, cre we created a simple to use connector that allows business users to, users to then analyze the results of the models they created directly within Tableau. 
This gives them complete access and control over the end-to-end -end process. When you don't have to wait on another team to implement a piece of your workflow, you can move much more quickly and then arrive at Insight that much faster. So let's take a look high level at how this integration works. The first thing you would do as a user is to train your model in SageMaker. This is using AutoML or potentially leveraging a model already trained by a data scientist. Again, that theme is broadening the audience and making these models more approachable and accessible for all users. Second, we're going to use Tableau's Analytics Extension API to access the SageMaker model endpoint. This is at the heart of the connection between Tableau and what's going on in your AWS SageMaker console, that model endpoint. To make this connection work, we deployed a Lambda function in AWS to make sure the connection is both lightweight and dynamic. Tableau is configured to call out to the SageMaker endpoint via a calculated field, which can then be used to create dynamic visualizations. All of the infrastructure components are then are easily deployed via an AWS cloud formation template, which is available as a quick start. No coding required. You've already heard that a couple of times, but it's worth reinforcing. This is intended for the business user. You shouldn't have to be able to code to take advantage of the value here. So that's a high level picture and we'll get into a little bit more detail um, right now with some demos. So maybe Costa, you can start off by showcasing what this integration will look like in action. And let's maybe start with how to actually create a model completely using SageMaker Autopilot. But let me quickly discuss what we are about to demonstrate. Madeline just showcased how the integration works. And as you can tell, in order for you to add ML-based predictions in your Tableau dashboard via SageMaker, you have to have first a model in SageMaker. Well, of course, some of you might uh, already have a data science team, or you might be yourself a data scientist that already has models in, in SageMaker. And if that's the case, you're good to go. But if you don't though, or if you want to build an ML model for a new use case that your current models don't cover, then you can quickly leverage SageMaker Autopilot. So today we will first share a bit more details on what Autopilot does for you in the background. And then we will demo how you can trigger an Autopilot job and deploy the best model it produces. That is also the step one that we showcase here. And then I'll pass it on to Madeline for the step two. And Madeline will demo how you can use that very same model that I deployed in SageMaker right within Tableau via our integration and start making real-time ML-powered predictions within your dashboards. Lastly, just a bit more context on what exactly we're trying to predict today or else what is the use case here. Um, today, we will showcase a classic marketing optimization problem, and more specifically, we will build a propensity to buy model. We'll take a commonly used data set that has the different prospect attributes like the demographics, the medium, and the timing of outreach, and we will build a model on 80% of the data, which will represent what we already know from the past, and we will use the other 20% or else but hasn't yet occurred within Tableau to predict their propensity to buy or subscribe to our service. That way, we, you can optimize who you actually reach out to and not necessarily spam the ones you have high confidence they won't subscribe. Now, let's start with the step one and the deeper dive to Autopilot. As I mentioned, Amazon SageMaker Autopilot makes machine learning easier and faster. You can build classification and regression models by just providing Autopilot with a tabular dataset and a target attribute. And that's it. It's that simple. Then Autopilot automatically analyzes your data, like any data scientist would do an exploratory data analysis, and then explores machine learning solutions with different combinations of data processors, algorithms, and algorithm parameter settings to find the best model. Instead of requiring you to decide what feature engineering works best, which algorithm to use, or which are the hyperparameters that optimize the model, Autopilot automatically does that all for you with a single click. In the end, Autopilot will present you with a leaderboard of the combinations it considered, and will show you the best performing models at the top. 
then you can quickly select the best or any other candidate that you prefer and deploy it with a single click. So as you showcase, as we'll showcase in just a sec, you'll be able to see that all the different combinations of run, how they perform based on the objective metric, as well as if you want, all the code in a notebook to inspect it or build on top of it. Of course, that's only if you want. For our citizen data scientists and ML enthusiasts out there today, we'll showcase how to trigger an autopilot job and then how to quickly deploy the best performing model. So now let's switch over to our AWS console. Here, we first enter the platform and we navigate to SageMaker. And more specifically, all the way to the right, we have deployed the SageMaker Studio, which we're going to log in into. Then we will navigate to the SageMaker examples that are being given to all SageMaker users out there and come as part of the SageMaker setup. Here we navigate it under the autopilot folder and more specifically in the direct marketing example. And the first thing we see is the description of the problem. This is a typical introductory task in machine learning that uses a data set to predict whether a customer will enroll for a term deposit at a bank after one or more phone calls. For more information about the task and the data set used, you can also see the marketing data set that is actually linked and we showcase just here. As most of you probably know, direct marketing through mail, email, phone is a common tactic to acquire customers. Because resources and a customer's attention are limited, the goal is to only target the subset of prospects who are likely to engage with a specific offer. Predicting those potential customers based on readily available information like demographics, past interactions, and environmental factors is a common machine learning problem. Now, let's see how you can solve it with Autopilot and our integration with Tableau. First, we download the data, and as I refresh here on the left, you can see how they are actually downloaded. Then, let's quickly see what those data entail. Here you can see each prospect's marital status, job, if they have a loan, when, what, when was the last campaign we ran with them, and in the end, you see the Y variable that describes if this prospect subscribed to our product after that reach out. Now, as, now, as I mentioned before, we will split the data set for 80% for training and 20% for testing the model with Tableau. And we will then upload the data into S3 in two different packets. Here you'll see also the, three, the two packets that I just created. Now let's go ahead and start the autopilot job. For that, we navigate via the left pane to the experiments and trials, and we select create experiment. Then we all we have to do is to give it a name. Here we name it AWS Innovate Tableau. Then we need to give it the training dataset. So we point it to the S3 bucket we just uploaded the training data to. Then we need to explicitly state the target variable, which is the Y in our case. And lastly, we give it a folder to save all the model artifacts it will create. At this point, we could, if we wanted, to state what type of problem this is, like is it a binary classification, regression, or a multi-class classification. But in our case, we believe Autopilot is smart enough and will figure it out by itself. And then all we have to do is just create experiment. We press create experiment, and we're being redirected to see all the steps that take place automatically for you, from data processing all the way to feature engineering and model tuning. Here, we also see that Autopilot will go through 250 different combinations, which is the default setting, but you can always elect to run more or less of those. At this point, you can do something as Autopilot runs, and you're not tied to actually remaining in that screen. But we'll run a little bit of a, a bit of a cooking show magic here, and you will see in abbreviated fashion how Autopilot goes through those steps, and it starts to give you back ranked fashion the trials it has run. And it keeps adding to that list as it, as it runs a lot more trials. Here we see the final leaderboard ranked based on the F1 score metric. 
So autopilot understood well this is a binary classification problem and thus used an appropriate metric for this one. Then we can select the best model at the top and just press deploy. Here we'll give it a name and select an instance type we want to host it on and then press again deploy model. That will trigger a model deployment process and if we navigate to the endpoints tab we will see the endpoint being created. And quick point here to mention, please do remember that endpoint name. Asmat Lean in just a sec will use it to make predictions right within Tableau. Now the endpoint is ready. And I'm wondering, Madlin, how about we showcase quickly to our audience here how to make predictions right within Tableau? All right. Thank you, Kosti. Okay, so let's start off in the AWS console. And I want to show you what you're going to get at the end after you deploy this connector using the quick start template. So you're going to see a lot of information about the various um, events and resources that got created and happened when you were deploying from the quick start. And what we want to focus on is these endpoints, these outputs. So that SageMaker URL output is what we're going to use to connect Tableau to SageMaker. But before we do that, we actually want to use that second output. That URL is going to let us add new users. So I can add a user via email, specify a password. In this case, I can just add myself or other people. And then there's extra security there with a verification code that we'll use. So anyone that you want to be able to uh, allow to use this connector will need to be added as a user. Now we're going to use that first output, that SageMaker uh, endpoint. So we're going to grab that, copy that, and that's what we're going to need when we go into Tableau to establish the connection from Tableau. So next, I'm going to open up Tableau Desktop. And here you can see I've already connected to the data set that has the information that Costa used to train his model in the previous demo. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to establish that connection between Tableau Desktop and SageMaker. We can do that via the Help and Settings and Performance tab here in Tableau. And we're going to go to Manage External Connections here. Now, you're going to want to select the Tab Pi uh, Extensions API. That's the one we're going to be using. And that section where it says Server, that's where you're going to use the URL that you grabbed from within the AWS console right before this. That's going to establish a secure connection from Tableau to SageMaker via port 443 here. And then you're going to use those credentials that you established uh, just before this. Now we have that connection set up from Tableau Desktop to SageMaker. The next step is to call out to the specific model that Costi trained in his demo. So we're going to do that via a calculated field. In that calculated field, we're going to use one of Tableau's script functions. Script functions allow you to call out to an external service, which is what we're doing in this case. And then you're going to specify the type of information that you're passing. In this case, we're all passing strings over to SageMaker. So the first argument in this function is going to be the name of the model that you train within SageMaker. In this instance, it's going to be that classifier model. Next, the arguments are going to be all of the different features or inputs that you want to pass to that SageMaker model. Remember, you have to include all of them. SageMaker, the endpoint, is going to be expecting all of these inputs so that it can calculate the appropriate inference or create the appropriate inference. Now, once you've created this calculated field, you can start building out visualizations using the data on the left here, as you would in Tableau normally. So we're looking at the different numbers of contacts that were made per day of the week. So I'm going to create a simple bar chart to look at that information. Now I want to use that calculated field to show whether or not SageMaker would predict that these contacts would convert to a purchase. So to do that, first, I need to make sure that this visualization is displaying the appropriate level of detail or granularity and that level of granularity has to be at the level in which I want the inference calculated. So that means I want to infer whether a specific individual contact 
is going to convert or not. Because of that, I want to add row ID onto my Tableau Viz here. That tells Tableau that the level of detail is all the way down to the row level. In turn, that tells SageMaker to run that inference on a specific row of data. Once I have the appropriate level of granularity reflected on the visualization, I can add the calculation that calls out to SageMaker. Now, a little trick here is to pause the data connection while you're configuring that calculation and then restart it once you've got all of those configurations set up correctly. It's going to save you a little bit of time in the long run. And now once we hit play and reestablish that data connection, you can see those inferences on the visualization in real time. So you're going to see them color coded based off of whether the SageMaker inference predicts a purchase or not for each one of these contacts. And in this visualization, you can see how important it was that we have that row ID level of granularity reflected on the visualization. And now, because it's Tableau, we can start moving these fields around on the view and changing the visualization to help us better understand what we're looking at. This is when I start to get really excited about seeing SageMaker and Tableau together. We're looking at real-time inferences calculated using a SageMaker model and we're visualizing them directly in Tableau and using this drag and drop interface to explore those inferences in more detail. Now, of course, you're gonna start off with a calculation and a simple visualization like this, but eventually you're gonna to wanna to build that inference into a much broader and more production ready dashboard like the one you have here. So this is an example of the type of finished dashboard that you might create to share this information with the rest of your organization. On the right-hand side, we have that SageMaker classification. And then on the left-hand side, we have additional information about the data set itself. So we have demographic information about the various contacts here, job type, employment level, age group, education, housing, and so on and so forth. And because it's Tableau, it's all fully interactive. So you can click and filter and explore and drill down to deeper levels. You can even hover over specific data points in the view. Here you can see a Tableau tooltip is giving us very detailed information about that specific contact. And now we can pull in that information about the inference provided by SageMaker to have even more detail. So this is a great example of that end-to-end -end workflow. We established that connection with SageMaker from Tableau. We built out a calculated field to call out to a specific model. And then we created an entire dashboard around those inferences so that users can use that information to drive business insights. And so with that, I'll close out the demo here. Um, it's a fantastic, just a, a great end-to-end -end experience here. And I love seeing the actual dashboard here because I think it really showcases the power of the partnership you're seeing between Tableau and SageMaker. Cool stuff, Madeline. Amazing demo, thank you. One quick point I wanted our audience to be very clear on is that the art of possible and the number of use cases one can solve for with this integration is really vast. We spoke about the propensity to buy, which resembles very much the leads quality scoring use case that we showcase here first. And that can help the sales teams prioritize their attention on the opportunities that truly really make sense for them. But the list doesn't stop there. Term prediction is a very common use case our customers have been bringing up but it's applicable to a very big variety of industry. Then you can think of credit risk prediction where our customers can evaluate an individual's risk profile or their whole portfolio's risk. Then there's the demand and revenue forecasting where our customers can predict what is the anticipated demand or what their revenues will look like in the future. Or there's also the hospital capacity and pa patient readmission problem our customers for the health, from the healthcare space have been bringing up where with, where with our integration, they can quickly analyze and optimize for how many beds will be needed by when, all within a single dashboard. And as I said, the art of possible is really vast and would love to know how this integration can help you. Now, looking ahead, first of all, we would love to get your feedback. And for that, 
please do visit the AWS Solutions page on the Tableau website, where you will find more information about our integration, a link to the AWS Quick Starts, and a how-to guide that is built by our partners from Interworks. Now, depending on your permissions, either de deploy the connector for your individual account or ask your IT admins to enable it across the organization. The Quick Start comes with a deployment guide, but it should be as easy as a couple of clicks. For help, please leverage our how-to documentation and do expect a customer webinar within the next couple of months, probably by the end of March. Important thing to note here, though, is that the deployment needs to only happen once. After that, you can connect to all the models you have permissions to on SageMaker right from your Tableau dashboard. So once you test it out, feel free to reach out to your account managers and SAs for any help. And lastly, as I mentioned earlier, our mission is to democratize machine learning. And in that process, we want to make it even easier for the business to get access to ML right within their favorite tools. With that, please do come back to us with any feedback and suggestions for improvement. We would really love to hear from you. And that brings me to the end of the presentation. And at that point, I'd like to personally thank Madeline for the time and dedication to bring our platforms closer together. This wouldn't be possible without you and your team, Madeline. Truly, thank you. I'd also like to thank Interworks, our SI partner that helped us build the connector. Really great working with their team. And lastly, I wanted to thank you all for the time today. Hopefully, you all got to learn something and we look forward to hearing how our integration can help and where we can further improve. In case you have any questions, we're always here for you. So please feel free to reach out in those emails. Thank you all.